Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. But we have to open the show with the biggest result. We have the Purdue Boilermakers winning the Maui Invitational. This was the most loaded event in college basketball regular season history. And Purdue emerges victorious. This is Matt Painter's 31st consecutive non-conference regular season win the boilermakers have been absolutely dominant in events like this and they had a murderous row of opponents to go from gonzaga to tennessee to marquette and win in the decisive fashions that they did uh, i'm wildly impressed with this zach Eady was sensational as he always is 28 points and 15 boards tyler we'll throw it to you first uh dominance from a big man that I don't think we've seen, quite frankly, since you were playing college basketball. Has there been a better big other than you, other than Zach Eady, since you've played? <laughs> well, I, I don't think so. I think he's – I was telling somebody, I think he's one of the most dominant players in the past 100 years. It's hard to make a case that somebody's been more dominant than him. The only thing he really hasn't done is uh, won a championship, but – I mean, Purdue is playing well right now. And also, uh, Zach Eady deserves a lot of credit because a lot of those shots that he was making down the stretch, especially, uh, they were off balance, touch shots. Uh, I thought he did a, a really good job out in Maui. Yeah, it was fantastic. RC, what would you see tonight? I think one thing we don't talk about with him is, you know, he's player of the year, candidacy, and all that kind of stuff. I think he's the defensive player of the year, and I don't think it's close. Um, I, I think he he dictates the game. He he makes team one dimensional because you're not finishing in the paint over him. He doesn't foul, so you you got to try to take advantage of the four to five minutes that he's not in the game. I think that's underrated. That's something that Purdue has gotten better at. That's probably underrated. Of now they're able to sustain leads and maybe enhance them when he's out of the game, but. His impact on the defensive end just changes the game. He makes everybody one-dimensional. I don't care what big you have, mm -hmm. he controls the game. So there, there was a lot of talk about the Maui champion is probably deserving of being the number one ranked team in the country. I think there are some other teams out there you could throw in the mix. UConn looks great. Arizona looks great, to name a few. Resume-wise, it's hard to argue with what Purdue did this week. I don't want to know if you guys think they should be number one, because I think that's pretty obvious at this point. I want to know if you guys think truly in your heart of hearts, is this the best team in this sport? RC, do you think that the Boilermakers are the best team in college basketball? You know what? I do. Um, I just think they got the biggest force that you just can't do anything with, because he always fouls that big. Uh, he fouls your first teamer. He fouls your second team. He puts you in so much foul trouble. And he doesn't foul. And like I said, he's the best defensive player on the floor because of that. So Arizona gives me cause to pause. I, I, I think that their physicality and their backcourt could really hurt Purdue. Uh, I, but I just think he's just so dominant inside. I, I can't bet against him still control. I haven't seen anybody take the pain away from him yet. So I'm still – I think they're the best team. Tyler, I want your answer too. What do you think? Well, they're definitely deserving uh, to be called the best team right now. They've won every game. But also, I think uh, Braden Smith and Fletcher Lawyer have really improved this year, uh, giving them, you know, you know, I think they've made that jump from their freshman year to their sophomore year. And uh, they're going to have more experience. I think they're playing better. But also, uh, Lance Jones is another transfer from SIU. Uh, Kelman, that's provided them with a little bit of spark and is playing well for them at times. But, you know, the, the truth is, R.C. is right. I mean, they have the most dominant force in basketball right now. Zach Eady, he bells you out on offense. He changes every shot defensively. And a lot of those stats don't show up on the uh, stat sheet. The way he makes players when they come in the lane, just his size and his length, they shoot, you know, difficult shots or they have to change their shot, which turns it into a low percentage shot no matter where it is. But I will say this. I, I want to see, like, if – if Edie were to get uh, matched up with Kyle Filipowski, who can extend him and bring him away, make him guard that three-point line, a team like that, I think, uh, could make Purdue a little bit uh, vulnerable. But also, I think Purdue, 
when their guards get pressured, I think they have a tendency to get a little turnover prone. And I think that's a team like that can get out and apply a lot of pressure defensively and stretch Edie out on the court. I think that's going to be a team that's going to give them some problems later on. Yeah, there's certainly still some matchup concerns, you could say, with Purdue on paper, but it's hard to argue with the results. And man, I think you saw I think you saw every side of Purdue in this three day stretch, right? And ultimately the the reason they emerged victorious here is because their constant is a better constant than any other team has in college basketball. Zach Eady on a bad day is going to show up and give you 24 points, 12 rebounds. He's going to get to the line. He's going to make his free throws because he's great there. And like RC said, he's just fantastic defensively. He doesn't foul and he forces fouls on you. What makes Purdue special to me is they finally got a performance from their big four all in the same night tonight. And I'm including Lance Jones in that big four, but it's Braden Smith, it's Fletcher Lawyer, it's Lance Jones and Zach Eady. And we saw them win games along this run in Maui where Fletcher Lawyer struggled. He no-showed the Gonzaga game. And then he bounced back and was great against Tennessee when Braden Smith really struggled. And tonight, I thought you got all four of them on on the same night. And when that happens, I don't know what you do because suddenly the bench guys didn't need to play as much. If you look at those four, everybody played between 32 and 35 minutes of that group of four. If that happens consistently, it's watch out time for the rest of the country. I want to talk about the other team in this game, though. It was Marquette. Uh, I came away very impressed with the Golden Eagles in this game to trail early by double digits and just sort of hang around and then ultimately give themselves a shot to win late. Uh, to me, that speaks to the toughness, the maturity that this group has. And ultimately, it spoke to Tyler Kolick, who was phenomenal. He looked like the best point guard in the country today. 22, six assists, seven rebounds, RC. Uh, do you feel better about Marquette than you did coming into this tournament with their performance these three days? I thought they were really good. And and I'll say this, too, about the whole tournament. I, I, I don't think you should play three games back to back. And I don't think you should play two games within the 24 hour period in these MTEs. And that's all of them. I just think that's a bit much. I wish they would somehow space that out no matter what the cost is and make sure it's three games over four days. And obviously those those two games not in a 24 hour period. Um, so space that out. But, I, you know, even today, I mean, if Marquette had won, we would be saying very easily could have won. If we said we would be saying they the number one team in the country. How would this game have been if Igadora didn't get in foul trouble early? And I know we're saying that against Edie, and that's that's something that he just does. But if he doesn't get too quick and is able to stay, he was the one guy that was finishing with this float and his mid-range shot, you know, moving around off of of, of you know Tyler's uh, college penetration. So um, I, I thought they were really good. I think they're top three in the country. That doesn't change. They they were right there, but you know, to win this game, so I, they didn't surprise me at all. Tyler, how do you yeah. feel? Well, I was impressed with Marquette when they smacked Kansas. I was surprised that they beat Kansas so handedly. Uh, so that's that really made me a believer in them. But you're right. Uh, Tyler Kolick's the best point guard in the country. Great leader. And uh, also, uh, I really like Cam Jones' uh, game. I think he gets out, run, does a lot of different things for him. Great score for Marquette. There are also two more veteran players have a lot of experience. Won the Big East last year. So, I'm pretty confident with Marquette, and I think Shaka's got his team. Uh, the way they move without the ball is uh, something special with Mar Marquette and the way they get out and run. Uh, I really like watching that style of play. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely impressed with Marquette, and I think they, uh, they could be Final Four potential team if they all stay healthy. Yeah, I think on paper it's there for both of these teams. Right. You come away feeling really strong about the caliber of the depth, the high end talent, the offense, the defense, all of it. These are two very complete teams with experience and and star power. It's interesting to me, though, to, to frame it this way, because at the same time that we come away super impressed with these teams, there's an argument to be made. This should be the number one team and the number two team in the country. Come next week, Purdue, number one, Marquette, number two. I would have no issues with that based on what we've seen. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.